What's going on guys, it's Elias. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're gonna be working on the prelude. We're gonna be doing the finishing touches to the prelude. That prelude right there because very soon we need to take this prelude over to Weatherly Hill Climb. Now in case you guys don't know, I do hill climbs with this prelude. I've done Giants Despair, I've been to Duria. So this year I'm gonna be taking it to Weatherly. We'll do a few more as we go along. I'm finally recovered from the accident I had with the Type R. We will be rebuilding it, but we're not talking about it right now. We're talking about the Prelude, so let's get into it. I gotta do a couple of things, uh, some brake bleeders, some other uh, things that we gotta do to the Prelude for it to get ready, and then we'll be all set. All right, so here she is, boys and girls, looking pretty good if I don't say so myself. I put that front lip back on, I changed the headers, uh, the gaskets. I, I put in a bunch of stuff, work into the engine to make sure it's all reliable and good to go. Next up, I have to bleed the brakes, but unfortunately, my brake bleeders back here have kind of seized up on me. So I'm gonna try my darndest to uh, get them out of there, and I'll show you guys how I do it in order to get brand new Honda brake bleeders on there and uh, so I can uh, b properly bleed my brakes. Last year I had to basically undo the, cal the caliper bolt that goes to the hose and kind of bleed it that way. Not the ideal solution. So I'm gonna fix that now so that we have good brake pedal feel and uh, I'll be able to use this at the track and not just at Weatherly Hill Climb or other hill climbs because Right here, as you can see, uh, this is gonna be uh, quite a project. We will get to this, but uh, first we got some racing to do. So uh, let's get under this thing. Uh, let's put her into gear. Let's put her in reverse. There we go. So we're starting out here with my uh, tuner lug adapter, 21 millimeter socket. I'm starting to call this the Big Bertha because <laughs> she's powerful. And uh, I'm gonna get some PB blaster to start out with. All right, so now that we have some illumination, here's what we're dealing with. There she is. That's the bleeder nipple that we had to take care of. Uh, last year I tried to uh, take it off and I just wound up stripping it. So I used this right here as a kind of an emergency uh, bleeder. You unscrew that, you press the brake uh, pedal down. Uh, as, as the brake pedal's held down, you screw that back in and you hope for the best. Not the best way to bleed it, I want to get this working again, so that's why we have to replace it. So I'm going to start by spraying it down with some penetrating fluid. Hopefully that uh, works out a bit. All right. I'm going to let it sit for, I don't know, two minutes, three minutes. You don't need to let it sit that long. So as you can see here, it's a 10 because uh, uh, it's always a 10. <laughs> it's always a 10 on these Japanese especially these older Japanese cars. So uh, I'm gonna I put the 10 on there, 
I, I hope it's just as easy as uh, me powering it out, but we'll take a look. There we go. Hopefully this works. Nope. That did not work. Plan B. Now plan B looks very similar to plan A because uh, we're using a nine millimeter. Try to do the same thing. Now this one really got a hammer home. Kind of difficult to hammer in there. Maybe I'll do it from this side here. I'll just hammer it from here. So uh, when when these these fail, so I tried the 10 millimeter, which is supposed to be the size that's all worn out. I'm not surprised there. Didn't work last year. It's not gonna work this year. Nine millimeter trick usually works. Get a little bit smaller one. You kind of hammer it in there. I was been hammering for a little bit, so I uh, kind of wore down the top there. Hammer it in. Try to move it around. Uh, it didn't work. So uh, next step is get out the vice grips. Uh, these vice grips usually work pretty well. Uh, what I did was I, uh, I sprayed it down with uh, this thing again, PB Blaster. Uh, it works pretty well, and uh, it, and don't don't try to actually use your hand to to use the force. Get a hammer out. These situations call for a hammer. Uh, let's see if this is gonna work. I'm pretty sure it is. It hasn't failed me yet. I do have another thing we can do after this. Uh, the next thing we do is I'd get some foil out. I'd protect this, uh, and then I'd apply a whole bunch of heat to that bolt right to the to the bleeder right there. And, uh, and with the heat uh, and some vice grips, we'd get it out probably, but I, I, I don't want to use heat right now. I don't have the right torch. I have a very, have a very broad flamethrower that I don't want to bring out, so uh, hopefully this works. Ah, there we go. So I made these vice grips as tight as I could possibly make them, and it worked. So the way I usually do it is I make this vice grip as hard as I can possibly make it and the way you do it is you, you keep squeezing it until you really can't squeeze it anymore you back it out of thread and then you squeeze again with all your might and then those teeth will grab whatever's in there and I don't know if you guys can see it but that bolt is moving it is moving boys and girls now I gotta get these vice grips open it can be a challenge so as we can see the 10 millimeters back on and she's moving boys and girls oh yeah so I'll back that out even more. These babies did the trick. Oh yeah. So these are the brake bleeders. These are the actual part numbers from Honda. They are Honda Genuine Part, I think. It doesn't really matter. You can actually get generic ones. They'll work just fine. So I'll put it back right in there. There you have it, boys and girls. This is the old brake bleeder. It looks nasty. This was happening. This is what happens when you don't uh, flush your fluid or bleed your brakes often enough. They'll seize up because it, it, the brake fluid actually gets water in it. And once the brake fluid gets water in it, it'll also get some bubbles in it, and then you'll get water and air, and uh, this will corrode. So thank God I uh, changed this out. This looks horrible. 
I mean, take a look at that compared to a new one. You guys can see that right there. Brand new versus old. They are identical, which is pretty cool. That's why I like using Honda Genuine parts. They're exactly identical. But you don't have to use identical. You, have, you can use whatever you want. All right, guys. That pretty much does it for this video. If you have any questions, put it down below. Happy to answer them. Let me know, let me know what you think about this job. Uh, do you think I did it right? Is there other comments that you could put down there that will help other folks out? Let us know. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Peace out.